Price picks for MLB. We got Garrett Cole's 3.5 strikeouts. Personally, I'm going to fade this taco, but you can take it. We got one for WNBA. It's probably the best one I like. Nafisia Collier on rebound, 7.5. Same thing with Hergabi. Uh, so that's they're going to be taking Nafisia Collier. NFL, we got Jordan Mason. Probably my second favorite, if not third. Uh, but we do have him for his rush and receiving yards. For Mason, I like all his props today, especially rushing yards, fantasy score, rushing and receiving yards. Uh, but we do have a discount for him. Same thing for college football. We got Quinn Hewers, passing yards, excellent prop at 215. So we got four discounts. Let me put the one for MLB as well. We got Gary Cole, Jordan Mason, Nafisa Collier, and we got one for college football. It's a passing yards. This price base loads up. And you can see we got the timer. We got three hours to put these in. Personally, I'm going to be taking Collier, Mason, and Ewers. I reposted all my slips on my Discord. I am fading the cold, but you can take it. It is a discount. It is the same as his Dobby at 3.5. Uh, we're going against the Royals. The Royals hit them pretty well. Uh, Cole's strikeout numbers are down in the playoffs. The matchup is not there for him. The Royals do hit them pretty good a lot of good numbers against them uh, but those are the four discounts make sure you guys take advantage of it uh, but let's head on over to WNBA a couple props that I like uh, most likely going to rely on the discounts and the pairs uh, but most likely will be NFL props since we have that Thursday night game be between the 49ers and Seahawks but for WNBA I like to mention uh, rebounds and assists in a piece of Collier at 13 which they do it took her off for the board, so she's most likely gonna get bumped to 13.5. So we pivot to her rebounds, which should be at 9.5. It's most likely gonna get bumped to 10, so hopefully you guys get this in. If you guys get to get the rebounds and assists at 13, take that instead. Brianna Stewart. Most likely gonna be targeting her gobbies. The first game of the finals. Uh, so not sure who's gonna be guarding who or who's gonna be at least minutes restriction on some maybe one or two players uh, we still got to see it's game one uh, but I'm gonna take the studs in this one Collier obviously for the Minnesota Lynx as far as the Liberty we got Brianna Stewart 0.5 next one you can target is Sabrina she's probably gonna have a big series probably the favorite to win MVP if the Liberty pull it off against Minnesota uh, but I think Sabrina's going to have a big, big series. So you can take her points or her Gabi. Most likely I'll be taking her Gabi at 11.5. Fantasy is great. She had a great series against the Den defending champs, the Aces. Uh, so I think she'll come out and do her thing. But her Gabi points will probably be her best. Uh, she did have one bad game against the Aces. Uh, where she only scored four points. Uh, but this is the finals. They're on the brink of a championship, so I think Sabrina will do her thing. Playing it safe for the first game, be taking her Gabi. So let's head on over to MOB. Not much for MOB. I know we have two closing out games. But let's head on over to pitcher strikeouts. Uh, I've been burned the past two days, especially on that game one, at least day one of the latter day challenge with Lugo. Uh, but pitcher strikeouts, not even their gobbies have been hitting, so I'm just going to completely fade the entire board for pitcher strikeouts. So it's a big reason why I'll be fading the discount. So you can see the same as the gobby. Uh, but I'm just going to completely, I'm going to head on over to the hitters instead. And we're going to go with taking the studs here. With Jose Ramirez, I've been taking on the past couple of days, he hasn't been hitting. Uh, I think he was taking away a hit on one of those games. So I need need to have a big game for them to not get eliminated. And it starts with Jose Ramirez. So I'm going to be taking his hitter fantasy score. Same thing with Quan, Bobby Witt, Kenneth Walker, Mason. You can also target their first halves. I did take uh, Kenneth Walker's first half. Receiving yards. Metcalf will be my main target, 66.5. Fantasy score. I know he missed uh, last week, but I'm gonna go right back to him. You can take any of his gobbies. I still think he's gonna go over his original line. 
Debo Samuel most likely his job will be best. Same thing with Brandon. Tyler Lockett, good gobby as well. George Kittle is probably the best line I like for uh, the 49ers as far as the receivers. Zach, I did take his fantasy score in the first half, which I believe is at three. So if it's a pass or a run, he should easily clear that fantasy score for the first half, which we head on over there. Kenneth, Jordan, receiving, Metcalf is the best one. Fantasy score, I took Zach, which should be at three still. Is at three. One more I like to mention is actually an NFL first quarter. Uh, last week we had a perfect slip uh, in regards with NFL first quarter and NFL first half. But for the NFL first quarter, Metcalf is the best one at 8.5. He's been averaging well over 20 yards in the first quarter. A pass or two, he should easily clear this. Number one option for Geno. Uh, but those are the props I like. Thursday night football game. Makes it match. Take advantage of the discounts. Uh, don't make six mans on the discounts. Uh, pair it up with your best prop. Uh, take some gobbies. Build your bankroll up today. Tomorrow we got Flex Friday. Uh, so head on to the weekend for the Sunday night weekend for, with a big chunk of good bankroll. Other than that, please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate your support. I posted a lot of slips this morning on my Discord if you're interested. Even covering Europe, uh, soft, uh, Europe Basketball League. Uh, so if you're interested, the link is in the description below. Other than that, have a great day and see you guys in the next one.